Hello students, Gata Space Your Online Tuition welcomes you and today we are going to discuss our 6 subject basics of energy and environment from this like IESP 2020 important topics. So in this video we are going to discuss everything from this subject. First of all before starting of this video I need to just suggest like this subject is going to be very very important and not only for this exam every year if you are going for any UPSC exam or other exams also this subject like energy and environment is like highest weightage in marks. So that's why in 2017 14 question directly means sir. 28 marks and you can just see 28 marks from this basics of energy and environment in 2018 13 question basically said 26 marks or in 2019 sir 24 marks so you can just see here how much like uh, importance of this subject in your selection so this subject is going to be very important for your selection now in this subject which topics are going to be important basically sir this subject consists of two parts First is just known as your energy part and remaining just your part is just known as basically your environmental part where we need to just discuss everything related to forest, environment, environment pollution, waste management, everything is just part of your environment. But sir, this basics of energy is also part and this year in current affair part also, we have just discussed like different types of biofuels and special of one article just I provided biofuels. So this topic is also important and that is also part of your energy. So current affair already from this basics of energy and environment we have discussed in our monthly videos. So you can just refer those videos. Now sir, in energy generally we just consist of basically main energy, two types. First is just known as your renewable energy sources, renewable energy sources. Second sir, non-renewable energy sources. Means sir, renewable means sir, those provided by our nature, for example, solar energy this is like totally free of cost only thing is that we need setup wind energy everything without like there is no pollution nothing is there only these things just known as renewable energy in future only india not only in india everywhere in the world we are just moving towards renewable energy sources and non-renewable energy sources like your coal basically sir thermal power plants your hydro your nuclear power plants but thing is that sir after like uh, using this uh, electricity or energy there is a lots of uh, problems of pollution also like uh, in our nuclear uh, waste problems are there but that's why everywhere now we are moving to renewable to non-renewable energy resources and also sir this uh, fossil fuels like our coal our diesel are going to be limited that's why we are just moving to renewable energy sources and especially sir our solar in future you will just see our 40 to 50 percent energy is uh, itself just uh, lead by your solar energy but biggest problem sir solar energy highest initial cost highest like uh, pv sales cost are there means sir whenever just you are setting any solar plant for your home you need to spend four five lakh rupees that's why in future definitely we are going to reduce this cost and uh, efficiency also going to be less uh, for solar uh, sales that's why in future after 10 year after 20 year we are moving to solar but uh, technology is also going to be advanced so these are like a basic parts of energy remaining part of uh, like uh, different energy sources also there so everything from wind tidal energy geothermal energy everything is the part of your parts of energy and now sir in solar energy very important topic because of solar is like a important topic for your upsc so sir in solar what happen we have pv cells and whenever this is our sunlight and this is like our PV cells. PV is like a basically semiconductor device. It will convert our H means photon, photon means a light energy to our DC current. And we just store this DC current into batteries and batteries then we can just use this electrical power. Okay, so this is like a basic fundamental principle of uh, this uh, electricity or energy generation by solar energy. Now sir, very important topics from this solar, two topics or two things or two points from here what happen this sunlight totally receiving two topics are there one is just known as insulation insulation means one definition is there upsc favorite what do you mean by insulation insulation means sir particularly solar radiation reached to earth surface per square centimeter per minute okay for example this is our sunlight and uh, this light per square centimeter on earth surface per minute this is known as insulation and sir this insulation is just directly proportional to temperature if temperature increase this insulation increase but sir there is a not only insulation but also reflection of light 
due to clouds clouds are there this light is also reflected from our surface also light reflected nearly 30 percent light from this uh, sun just reflected this term is just known as very important question for upsc reflection of this light from uh, our earth surface also from our clouds that is known as albedo okay so this term is a very very important for upsc they can just ask reflected sunlight just known as albedo so this is like some important topics from your solar energy and uh, you can just uh, understand like a basic theory just i given in notes now sir very important one point in 2015 government of india and the government of paris just combinedly launch in cop 21 paris okay every year just we have like a conference of parties meeting this is like a meeting related to we are moving to our this uh, reducing of greenhouse gases how like this climate change problems so this is like one type of conference so in 2015 cop21 held at paris so french government and indian government just they combinedly formed one international solar alliance very important this solar alliance just totally they just focus on solar energy and especially like headquarter uh, especially just develop in india only because of this isa is like uh, maximum to maximum contribution by government of india this is like an international organization and this is launched by our prime minister narendra modi so this is like also one important topic from your solar topic you can just uh, understand the basic idea and uh, here sir isa main purpose we want to just develop this solar energy not only in India and we also contribute to other countries if any country coming here or we want to just increase efficiency we also want to support like financially any country weaker country just coming to India or this alliance they provide financial support and also together our scientists working how we can just increase efficiency of solar panels how we can just re reduce the initial cost of this solar panels that's why every can just everyone can just afford this solar plates okay so these are like some basic target and by 2030 we are just targeting like everyone minimum like 40 percent or 50 percent we should cover this solar energy okay so these are like some important target for this isa isa is basic sir international solar alliance so these are like some important topics from your energy part and finally sir this year we are just moving to biofuel policy like in our current affair part like two three times generally just i discuss this biofuels and sir this year like our uh, niti ayog niti ayog suggested you should just use methanol or it ethanol blending with petrol because of uh, we cannot import we are importing lots of petrol that's why our economy cost is going to be or economy is going to be down because import uh, money or for this petrol we need to just pay for other country but what happened now like we are mixing extra five to ten percent this uh, ethanol or methanol to our petrol that's why our this uh, import cost is going to be reduced and also this blending provide pollution free whenever just like this also reduce pollution okay so this is like a very good scheme just government of india using that's why this methanol blending ethanol blending biofuels means their biodiesel also like how we can just converting now plastics to this biofuels so these things are already just we have covered in our current affair part also in proper manner and also notes provided properly so guys whatever just i provided those things just like directly or indirectly very very important topic for your is 2020 exam now sir what happened this like energy part is over now we need to just move to our environmental part and in environmental part we have to discuss basically sir your uh, ecology okay also sir different types of ecosystem so all definitions are there like ecology or ecosystem some different definitions are there and also sir this ecosystem is like combinedly one is just known as biotic ecosystem also sir second just known as abiotic ecosystem means sir biotic means sir like water ecosystem bio means sir water so water ecosystem or non water ecosystem so basically sir different types of uh, structures are there some definitions are there and also like biospheres and uh, there is a different structures of our atmosphere okay like different layers in our atmosphere also like stratosphere troposphere and uh, ozone layer is also exist there so every topic just i given in proper manner and uh, so you can just read from that uh, topic now sir this is like a maximum to maximum they can just ask from this ecology part and environmental part so these are like a basically part of your environment and also sir now we are going to discuss about pollution part and already with this pollution part properly covered in our notes okay like uh, air pollution your water pollution 
and also your soil pollution noise pollution and especially sir this uh, hazardous pollution means sir like due to some nuclear waste some hazardous pollution also there and also solid waste management you know guys solid waste are there from industries or from our municipals or like our industries some uh, solids are there or waste are there whenever just we degrade that it will release our co2 or methane and it will like uh, lead to pollution in our environment okay so proper solid waste management is also important for every country so this is like important topics also just we covered in our uh, this uh, boost course of this uh, basics of energy and environment next after air pollution there is like basically one topic that is known as climate change and climate change is only due to only pollution basically sir your global warming and global warming due to global warming gases especially sir our co2 okay so these are like some important topics you need to just discuss and uh, also one topic is there that is known as eia final topic of envir environment A environmental impact assessment whenever just you are completing any project in initiation phase basically sir we have our project and in initiation phase we need to just put a appraisals okay appraisal analysis at that time you should put a clearance or noc from environmental department yes your project is not harming any environmental or any forest resources okay so that is like one type of known as environmental impact assessment so before starting of your project every engineer responsibility like your project is not uh, harming any animal any forest or any environment or we are just properly conserving our environment okay so these are like some important topics some important steps of eia okay so this is like going to be sufficient from your energy and environment now from environment some important days are there okay so basically sir 5 june just celebrated as world environmental day earth hour every year earth hour last saturday of march just celebrated as a earth hour sometimes upsc they just can ask these types of questions also sir earth day earth day celebrated on 22nd of april also next sir your uh, ozone day ozone day sir celebrated on 16 september and also sir your 21st march and 22nd march both are important 21st march is celebrated as world forest day and sir 22nd march just world water day okay so these are like some important days for on this environmental part and also in this subject some important topics are there that is known as one list is there and just i provided in our notes okay like for example sir rio summit is just related to what what this like your monitor protocol just related to what like ozone protection also like your uh, some rotterdam convention so different kinds of conventions are there one list is there just remember all those things because of upsc favorite question that is like uh, upsc favorite question they can just ask any type of convention and meetings so this is like uh, complete from your basics of energy and environment but sir this year also one uh, important news from this uh, basics of energy and environment and sir this is known as black carbon what do you mean by black carbon i need to suggest this black carbon is nothing sir incomplete combustion of your like uh, fuels okay fuels fossil fuels like any petrol diesel or anything also sir like your biofuels or uh, also from your biomass uh, energy some incomplete combustion remaining part is just known as black carbon okay black carbon why sir this is in news because of this black carbon have biggest problem whenever a woman in pregnancy this black carbon just by inhale of this uh, breathing just goes to placenta and placenta for example baby is here small baby okay small fetus is there and this is like known as placenta placenta will take food from mother to this baby but sir what happened this black carbon deposited here and due to this uh, it will pass to baby small baby lungs and this will destroy lungs of small baby that's why this is going to be biggest problem this is like one type of research that is known as black carbon and black carbon have highest effect on placenta of fetus and it will affect total lungs of small baby so this is like a biggest problem so this is like a important topic and recent in news that's why just i given here now sir this is like a maximum to maximum 
they can just ask from basics of energy and environment i need to suggest my all student go through with all my videos and basic theory then definitely you can just also go for some different book and just try to remember everything every point properly whatever just i given here like especially your this uh, all uh, summits all uh, your uh, conventions properly also pollutions properly sometimes what happen and also some questions like your aqi or some topics already just we have covered on our gs community and also just by post on facebook and youtube i i provided some questions like on aqi what do you mean by this co2 is not included there or some important topics are there so in global warming gases you need to just understand properly also sir air pollution which gases are responsible for greenhouse which gases are responsible in aqi which list of uh, aqi number of gases just covered and and name of gases so these topics just seems to easy but uh, in exam you got confusion and uh, you will just uh, commit mistake okay so that's why go this subject is a very easy and very scoring but thing is that there is a chances of uh, committing mistakes in paper everything look uh, similar that's why you should understand this subject properly revise properly and then just uh, go with proper confidence so thank you guys for watching this video thank you